Hey gang, Anthony Radzikavich here. Now when people talk about Linux, there's this uh, fear of having to use the terminal. So I just wanted to show you real quick that this is CentOS 7. This is one of many Linux distributions. And of course I uh, have, how would I say, uh, gearing towards CentOS 7 because it is a direct clone of Red Hat. But check it out, we have a GUI. We have a graphical user interface. So if you click on applications up here because I'm using the GNOME environment, uh, we can go to our favorites, so these are consider the favorites your accessories a calculator so notice you know we have a uh, basic mode advanced mode programming mode these are all clickable if I want to go to my files I could click home and then you'll see that I have my desktop documents downloads music so on and so forth and then I also have them on the bar to the left so I just kinda wanted to make a video on uh, the fact that yes with uh, Linux, there are many, many different uh, looking graphical user interfaces. You can click around and simply using the GUI is according to this, right? It's just like this. Uh, another thing too is if you want to change the way your displays work, if you press the start button and then just type in display uh, or displays, this will be under the settings. So there's really quick ways to reference this. This has been here for a very long time. So with um, Windows 7, you know, you click the start button, you start typing, you could do that. However, prior to that, or rather prior to Vista, you were not able to do that. Uh, but it's here, that's how you do it. Uh, so if you have multiple screens, this is how you would configure those multiple screens. I could rotate them. Uh, so if I had my screens flipped, that's what these buttons are for. If I wanted to flip it upside down, that's what this one's for. And then of course I can pick the correct resolution. So again, this is simply using the GUI. This is the display setting, how you get there. And that's it. So as always, happy Linuxing.